So Srila Prabhupada, by his mood and his service and his devotion. So the loss is shared by all of the ISKCON society. And when we understand the loss in that way, then we can feel comforted that all of us together as one family share the loss of a very dear and beloved devotee. Of course, we will question why does Krishna, when he's, Krishna is the supreme controller, and Krishna says, Kunti apriti janihi nami bhakta pranashiti. Why did Krishna take him away like this? But we have to understand, well, just like Grandfather Bhishma explained to Maharaj Yudhisthira, when my Grandfather Bhishma was on his bed of arrows and preparing to leave the world, at that time, he explained to Maharaj Yudhisthira that no one can understand the plan of the Lord. But we can understand that definitely there is a plan there, that the Lord, because he is the supreme controller, and he has a plan. So, as Hari Lila Prabhu was just saying, he was quoting that adage about the four people, Jivava, Marava, Sadhu. That for the Sadhu, it doesn't matter if they live or if they die, because they're living to spread the holy name. And when they leave the body, they will continue to spread the holy name. Nadi Jagannath Prabhu was dedicated fully to the service of Lord Krishna, to the service of the ISKCON society. Undoubtedly, he has gone on to serve in some other place by the arrangement of the Supreme Lord. Not by any accident or chance. There's no such thing as accident. It was all Somehow it's arranged like this, that he left this world to go on to serve some other place. Sometimes Lord Krishna desires, he has a more important service to be performed. And he arranges like this. We have to understand the supreme will of Lord Krishna. Our teaching is of surrender. We surrender ourselves to Lord Krishna, whatever is Lord Krishna's desire. We have to accept that and go on with our service because we know that this world is the very nature of this world, that it is not eternal. So at some point, we have to give up our attachments. We have to leave. We all come to this world and we will all have to go at some time. We have to understand. We have to prepare ourselves to be able to leave this world, to leave this body. Just as Anadi Jagannath Prabhu left, in the service of the Lord, serving the devotees, that's a glorious departure. Prabhupada told to Tamal Krishna Maharaj like that, he, Tamal Krishna Maharaj was telling him that to die on the battlefield is glorious. And Srila Prabhupada said, yes, I want that benediction. I want to die on the battlefield. So here we have a nice example of his Chris Anadi Jagannath Prabhu, how he's serving a devotee, serving the Vaishnava. And he left the body on the battlefield of devotional service. 
Anka kale chamami va smaran mupa kale dara. Ya praiti samat bhava yatina syatra samshaya. The one who can remember me at the time of death, certainly he will come to me without fail. So even greater than giving service to Lord Krishna is to serve the devotees. So it's a very glorious departure to be able to give up the body at that particular time. It's not an ordinary thing. So we should understand the true glory of this departure and we should praise it. We should not be bewildered. Rather, we should rejoice that it's very wonderful that he could depart in such a glorious manner. And we hope that we can also get the opportunity to follow in that way. Mahajano yena sapanta. We want to follow in the footsteps of the great souls. The great souls are those who have sacrificed everything for the service of the Lord. That they give up everything. I was reading the Brihad Bhagavat Amrita and Narada Muni is searching for the person who has received the greatest mercy from the Lord. So there was some suggestion that uh, Lord Shiva had, was the greatest recipient of the mercy of Lord Shiva said, no, you go to Prahlad. Prahlad, he's got the greatest mercy. So Sanatana Goswami comments about this. He said, there are different devotees. There are the eternal devotees, devotees like Lord Shiva, the goddess of fortune, Lord Brahman. But there are the new devotees, new devotees, he talks about Prahlad. He said, Prahlad is like the new devotee. And the new devotees are even more dear to Lord Krishna than the eternal devotees. Why? He explains, Sanatana Goswami explains, he said, they're more dear because they suffer more. They accept more the hardships in executing devotional service. Other devotees, you know, like Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma and the goddess of fortune, they don't have to undergo any of the difficulties or any of the trials or tests. You know, their position is secure. But Prahlad got put through so many tests. So this makes him more dear to the Lord the one who accepts all the difficulties, all the challenges, and goes on with devotional service. Tate nukampam sushamikshamana punjana evatma kritam kupakam rivavavavir vavadam namaste jiveta yomukti pade satayapa so, one who tolerates all adverse conditions and goes on with devotional service. He goes on with devotional service, engaging, hearing and chanting. Then that person becomes qualified to become my unalloyed devotee, the, the dayapak. The, and the example is given like the sun inherits everything from the Father. So one who stays in Krishna consciousness, then he is the real recipient of the mercy of Krishna. So we've seen a wonderful example, very wonderful devotee, very much loved everywhere. Everyone appreciated his nice mood, is uh, always willing to help devotees, always kind words, never in anxiety, never troubled. He arranged so many nice programs, glorifying 
also especially His Holiness Jagpataka Swami Maharaj. I heard he had a wonderful talk program where he would get the devotees to come and speak about the different interactions with Srila Jagpataka Swami Maharaj. So that was all the inspiration of Anadi Jagannath Prabhu. Did many wonderful things for the devotees and for Krishna. And we're very thankful for his wonderful example. So, Anadi Jagannath Prabhu Ki Jai! Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai! Prabhupada Ki Jai!